In this series, we tell the story of a single month of frontier violence in the 1820s New South Wales Hunter Valley. Plans to expand open cut coal mining by corporations including Glencore and relocate a colonial property have local Aboriginal groups up in arms. Archaeologists and traditional owners believe the Ravensworth homestead and the surrounding landscape played host to a series of atrocities against the Wanara people. This is a significantly bad place. Mm -hmm. This landscape that we're on today, the Bowmans, Lethbridge Estates, doesn't matter how anyone pates it up, was a, a slaughter ground against Wanara people. Mm -hmm. It was for over 10 years. On August 1st, 1826, a Wanara man known to whites as Jackie Jackie was shot dead in police custody. He'd been arrested by Lieutenant Lowe of the New South Wales Mounted Police on suspicion of the murder of a watchman, despite doubts over his identity. The killing, without trial, followed a month of escalating frontier violence in the region. According to some accounts, Governor Darling's appointment of Lowe led to a campaign of terror in the Upper Hunter. That feeling of disquiet persists today, where the Ravensworth Estate, a centre of violence, is concerned. No, you were told not to go there. That's what you get. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I did, and I got in trouble. Mm. Basically wasn't allowed out of mum's side again. Yeah. Aboriginal people were buried out there, and m m mainly men. In 1827, Lieutenant Lowe was charged with having had his troops kill three Aboriginal men, one of them, Jackie Jackie, in custody. The Supreme Court trial and debate of the legal protection afforded to Aboriginal people in such cases raised as many questions as it answered. The witnesses to the killing with their convict histories were deemed unreliable and Lowe was acquitted to applause. He admitted the murder. There was uncontradicted evidence that he directed the murder. That was justice in the colonial system in 1826. The question is whether in 2021 First Nations peoples in the Hunter Valley will be given a different measure of justice. We'll only know that when we have a decision from the Environment Minister. 